no retards on the street causing violence. Investigating civil matters that are in their head with the use of violence. Civil matters at the best. Negotiations of your bail contract. You don't actually need one, but we're going to coerce you into one. Often you're an intervention order. You don't need one, but we're going to coerce you into one. We're not going to tell you that we're going to violate your civil rights in the uh, process of the contract. There's not going to be any full disclosure. That's just how we operate. And most people don't know you can sue the ass wipes. If you get a proper lawyer, not your local lawyer, you've got to get a real one. File a statement of claim and they probably won't pay it because it'll go to some shitty magistrate court, then they'll have to uplift it to the Supreme Court because they're egotistical retards and believe that they're doing the right thing all the time. They don't own the roads. They don't own your car. Yet they're going around dishing out fines to everyone. They've certainly got a bloody racket going on, haven't they? You, to, you agree to this licensing scam and this insurancing scam Maybe we won't use violence on you. People have just got to start waking up to these retards. They've got no claim. They've got no evidence to, to prove anything. Like, what, what was one doing? Just merely uh, travelling on a public right of way that they they deem to be a road or a highway or whatever else they goddamn deem to like and pursue it to their goddamn act. And then they take you to one of their pretend courts to try and get you into a equitable agreement because you were doing the right thing. Make sure you go and learn your uh, doctrines, duress, consent, estoppel, necessity, there are probably a few of the important ones, there's probably a few other, and you use those doctrines in court as well. Make sure you use all the rights uh, reserved thing as well. Start protecting yourself against the contracts. Cheers.